Okay, you guys, what is up? The King of Lightning is going to do One Piece Chapter 671 review. Now, this chapter of One Piece, it's, uh, I'm going to go step by step. I'm going to go step by step along with the chapter, and then I'm going to give my thoughts on a few things and, you know, call it a review. So, that being said, for this chapter of One Piece, it starts off with Sanji inside Nami's body, and he is diving in the bottom of the lake in order to find the torso of the samurai's body. And the thing is that Zoro and Brooke are going to defend the position from the slime as uh, Sanji inside Nami's body does this. And we see the progression of the slime across the lake, how it's taking out a majority of the life of around that area because the slime is you know a very poisonous creature and so on and so forth so that's what that group is doing right now um now the next portion of this chapter is Trafalgar Law and what's happening here is that Law is he's causing a distraction he has this bag and choppers in the bag and he goes into the main laboratory where Monet is and basically he tricks Monet into because he says that like I need you for something and then Mon and then like Monet you know follows him and then and then they both leave the laboratory while Chopper is left there and Chopper is going to search for an antidote to the candy that the kids are taking so that's what Trafalgar Law is doing right now and then this brings up the next portion of the chapter which is the fight between Luffy and um uh and Caesar Clown. And this fight is actually... this At the beginning of the fight, I actually kind of liked where it was going. Because it, it was going pretty solid. I mean, I because we all knew that Luffy... Well, if you have confidence in Luffy's abilities, then you should have known that Luffy, when it came to a combat standpoint, was going to whoop Caesar Clown's ass. And he practically did so. There was something that he did in this fight, which I thought was very... Very impressive. I'm like, damn, Luffy, okay. So he got out of a tight situation in, in a very familiar way. And, uh, yeah, a very familiar way. And then at the end of the fight, it got kind of, like, it got kind of repetitive. Because I'm not too sure if he got poisoned or not. But at the end of the fight, when he finally grabs Caesar Clown, and then all of a sudden Luffy starts gagging, and then he falls down unconscious. So... I'm thinking maybe he was poisoned, but, I mean, he got poisoned by fucking Magellan. Like, this was the same dude who had poisoned so strong where he was able to not only erode the surrounding structure, but his venom demon form was able to actually poison inanimate objects. Not erode, poison inanimate objects. On some OP shit. And he survived that poison. Buttloads of it. So, I mean, look, I don't care if Caesar Clown is a gas gas logia. I don't care if he's a higher grade of Delphi user. Magellan, when it comes to poison, I think he's far superior, far superior than Caesar Clown. So, I mean, I highly doubt that. But basically, this fight, the way the fight winds up going is that at the beginning of the fight, what well, well, basically happens, and by the way, before the fight actually starts, is that there's a little scene between... There's a little scene between Frankie and Robin. And Frankie's going like, hockey, that's really amazing. You actually grabbed the Logia. And then Robin says, but the color of armaments, hockey, is the ability to grab matter. I was like, that's kind of sick. I mean, like, I mean, like she kind of generalized hockey in a way that made a lot of sense. Color of armaments, hockey, is the ability to grab matter. And then she compared it to the Kairoseki. But the difference is the Cairo second can actually negate Delphi powers, whereas, uh, whereas, uh, well, because it will not negate Delphi powers, but it can actually drain Delphi powers, whereas the Armitage cannot do so. So, but basically, I mean, that's what I'm assuming she's saying, and I'm actually I'm not gonna figure it out until I actually have the like proper translation. So, because it did seem kind of off, even though it was manga stream scans. And then after that, we see the combat between Luffy and Caesar Clown. Caesar Clown goes into gas gas form. Luffy does, uh, he does a hockey, a hockey bell, a gomu gomu no bell with the forehead. And then Caesar Clown manages to dodge that. And then what happens here is that Caesar Clown does something called like a gas rope. And then he surrounds Luffy with gas. 
And then he's laughing. And, yeah, yeah, go ahead, man. Take it. Like, breathe it all in. You're like, you're going to die. And then Luffy, he just... He breathes that shit in, man. Like, he was on some crack cocaine. Just straight up. He was like, fucking... Uh, like, <laughs> straight up, man. He had that face on. And then he just bre he breathed in all the gas. And then... The guy, and then one guy is straight up like, yo, like this guy's a retard. <laughs> like, straight up. And that would be the case if it wasn't the fact that Luffy was already poisoned by Majolan. And he's taking full advantage of that. So what happens is that he breathes it all in, and then he blows out the poison gas through his ears. And then he coughs a little bit and says, I'm, I'm sorry, but poison is not really that effective on me after, ever since Majolan. And then we see here that... Caesar Clown is like almost every other Logia, cocky as fuck. Because what he says here is simply put, Majolan, the guy in Impel Down who spews out poison, don't compare me with the Paramecia. So, I mean, like, here's the problem, man. Here's the problem, okay? Some of these Logia are just too cocky. They're way too cocky for their own sake. I mean, yeah, it's true, all right? It's true that Logia... When it comes to the general sense, Logi are superior to Paramecia. But even still, the Paramecia have dudes like Whitebeard, man. Like, like Whitebeard. Like, what, the, what is that? I mean, yeah, it's true that Blackbeard is superior to Whitebeard, as I'm pretty sure Shanks is, and so and I, I'm not, like other Yokone, and Dragon's probably superior. Dragon, I'm not too sure if Dragon's a Logia. I'm pretty sure, because i never seen Dragon... Like, we, like we, we've we never seen Dragon disappear into, like, wind form. I mean, it's assumed that he's manipulating wind. So, I'm going to say he's a Logia. But as far as we know, when it comes to Paramecia, we have a guy like Whitebeard who just raped. I mean, this is the same guy. This is the same dude who, in a simple motion, grabbed the air and then went like this and tilted an entire ocean. If it was land... He would have tilted tectonic plates on whims. Paramecia rape. Ha! <laughs> they rape? So, I mean, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, all right? I'm just saying. And plus, even non-Paramecia, even non- even non duffel users, we got people like Shanks, who we know is powerful. The dude hasn't fought once. The dude hasn't fought once, and we already know that this guy is OP powerful. Everyone knows it. Everyone knows it. If Shanks cut the moon in half, no one would be surprised, because we already fucking knew we could do that shit. It's fucking Shanks. That being said, that being said, Logia are way too cocky. Way too cocky. But, you know, Luffy shows him the ropes, and then what happens here is that um, Caesar Clown does this weird maneuver. I'm not too sure what it is, but basically Luffy's in the air. He's gonna go for a gum gum no armaments harden, uh, or not armaments harden, maybe actually armaments harden, uh, Gatling. And then Caesar Clown pulls out something and like kind of clicks it, and like there's a big explosion where Luffy is. I'm not too sure what happened in that instant, but basically there's a big explosion. And the thing about this is that okay, well you know he's getting mad cocky. Luffy is burnt up, and he, he looks like he's about to lose, okay? Even Robin's kind of worried. You know something's up when Robin's worried. So what happens is that Caesar Clown commands the slime to wrap around Luffy. And his henchmen are watching Caesar Clown do this, because they're realizing, wait a second, something's wrong. Our master is kind of a little bit off. How can he control this creature called slime? Did he, was he the one who sent it loose? So they're starting to think now, like, wait a second, things may not be the way they seem with this gas gas guy. And then what happens is that, obviously, the, the slime jump on Luffy, and then this is where things get very familiar. Caesar Clown has his instrument, and then he kind of, like, torts it, and, like, I'm, again, I'm not sure what happens here. It's kind of hard to, because, I don't know, Oda didn't, act, Oda didn't draw it that well, but basically what happened was that, like, he kind of, like, torqued, and, like, there was a big explosion. All the slime explode. A huge, huge explosion, okay? And then what happened was, we're thinking, okay, well, well, Luffy's clearly injured. And then Luffy is right behind Caesar Clown. 
And he's like, yeah, that was a big explosion. You know, that was dangerous. And then he just does a jet stop and punch Caesar Clown in the face. Let me tell you why this is so familiar. Luffy outran the explosion. There's someone else who did that in another series. With the name, his name begins with a, well, correction, it begins with an S and ends with a U, if you want to be really technical. But the name he's known for is, you know, Monkey Emperor or Ape Emperor, Goku, screw it, Goku, okay? Goku did the same thing. Frieza, the freaking ball, he outran the explosion. Luffy, same thing, outran the explosion, so I thought that was kind of cool, all right? And then he jet stomps Caesar Clown, and Caesar Clown is out. And this is when Luffy falls down to the ground, and then he's gagging. And then, I'm, again, I'm assuming that it has something to do other than poison. Because what happened at the end of the chapter was that Law and Monet are down this long hallway. And then Law starts gagging the same way. And then he coughs out blood and then falls to the ground. And then what happens here is that some individual comes over Law and says, well, well like, Monet's laughing. And then he says to Trafalgar Law, how many, like, how many years has it been? You've, you've grown, Law. And then Law kind of, like, you know, like, passes out. I think he passes out. And then that's in the chapter. And I'm assuming that what's happening to Law is the same thing that's happening to Luffy. I, that's what I'm assuming. Because, again, I don't see, I don't see Caesar Clown's poison working on someone like Monkey D. Luffy. I don't see that happening. But, here's the thing. If Luffy is, in fact, poisoned by Caesar Clown, if in, fact, if, in fact, Caesar Clown's poison is strong enough to hurt Luffy, then it's very repetitive. It's very repetitive. We've seen the poison before. We don't have to do it again. We don't have to do it again, Oda. So let's, you know, hopefully it's not poison. Hopefully it's something other than poison. Like maybe an infection of some kind. I'm not too sure. I wouldn't know. Maybe the slime. Maybe some of the slime got inside Luffy's mouth. Or in, in or in uh yeah yeah maybe we like when the slime got inside Luffy and that slime is now wrecking havoc in Luffy's insides and maybe maybe I'm not too sure but I'm hoping that it's not just simple yeah I poison you now you're gonna faint come on Luffy was near death had to sacrifice so many years well we don't know the exact amount of years but he had to sacrifice years of his life in order to develop antibodies against Magellan's poison so. No, it can't be simple poison. It cannot, should not be simple poison. If it is, fuck that shit, Oda. Screw that. Not cool. Not cool. That being said, this chapter, One Piece, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say it was a good chapter, only because the ending is very curious. The ending, the person who was standing over Trafalgar Law, this person could be this individual named Joker, because he is rocking a... It appe he appears to be walking, uh, rocking white boots that are very similar to, like, a Marine's boots. I don't know, maybe? I'm not too sure. But, uh, that being said, because I, I think it is Joker. I think this person is Joker. Or, it could be a huge twist, and this person could be Vegapunk. He could be Vegapunk. Who knows? But as of right now, we don't know who this person is. It's someone that knows Law in the past. The problem here is that we have no idea... Or we have no, uh, we have no information about Law's past, aside from the fact that he is a supernova and so on and so forth. Okay, this may be the same person that has his crew, that has his crew, including Beppo, captured or in prison or so on and so forth. But we'll see later on as the arc continues. Uh, and next week there's going to be no One Piece chapter, so I may, I may do a discussion. All right, now. Actually, yeah. Next week, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a a, a discussion solely on Shanks. Why? Cause I I want to. I want to. I just want to. Right? Shanks for the win. Shanks for the motherfucking win. So that being said, King of Lightning, give me your thoughts on this chapter. Be sure to rate, comment, subscribe. My Facebook fan page is down below, and I'll see you guys later. Peace. Signing off.